What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD with my full review and unboxing of the Elgato Thunderbolt SSD. This is completely portable, all powered through the Thunderbolt cable so you don't need any external power. And as far as the box content goes, it's pretty minimum. You get the owner's manual and then the Thunderbolt SSD itself. You can see it comes in a brushed aluminum kind of design. It looks good, aesthetically it kind of pleases the eye. Now one thing to point out is that the Thunderbolt cable is not included in the box, so you must buy that separately. That's an additional $50 you gotta dish out. Specifically, this is the 120 gigabyte model, which retails for 429 US dollars. They also step up to the 240 gigabyte model, which sells for 699 US dollars, so this is definitely not cheap. As far as the design goes, it's built very well, feels extremely solid, but however, as far as the ins and the outs, it's very limited. There's only one Thunderbolt port, which is a little bit of a drawback to me because you cannot daisy chain anything. And also, I would have liked to see maybe a Firewire or USB 2.0 port, just in case if you're on an old Mac and you want to transfer some information that doesn't have a Thunderbolt port. So we're going to break this down into the pros and to the cons and see if this thing is worth the money. We'll start out with the pros. It is completely bus powered. So if you're looking for a mobile solution, you're not going to need any external power. Everything is coming through the Thunderbolt cable. Also, it is completely silent. Being that it's a solid state drive inside, there are no moving parts. Therefore, you have no annoying loud hard drive noise. Now as far as the speeds go, this is kind of where it draws into that negative area for me. They advertise at about 270 megabytes per second. As you guys can see from the test results, it gets pretty close to that. So we're about 260, 250, varies from time to time, but they do get as advertised. Now my problem with this is it's nowhere near what we could see with Thunderbolt technology. Now here we'll look at a two gigabyte file transfer, one on a FireWire 800 drive and one on the Thunderbolt SSD drive. You can see obviously the SSD is much faster. And finally, the FireWire drive is done. So you might think that's pretty impressive, but upon opening this up, something kind of pissed me off. There are four screws. One of them was a little hard to get off. They really don't want you to open this up. I'll tell you why in a second. But much to my disapproval upon opening it up, there is an old generation stated two SSD. Now Thunderbolt is completely capable of speeds much, much higher than this. So they could have easily used a SATA 3 SSD. That's gonna get speeds anywhere from the ballpark of around 500 megabytes a second, but they kind of cheaped out and used old generation technology. You can buy this SSD by itself for about 130 bucks, depending on the price. So essentially, because also if the cable is not included, you're paying about $300 for a little aluminum enclosure, which isn't really cool in my opinion. It is silent, it is bus powered, it does perform as advertised, but I don't think for the money it is absolutely worth it. Unless you absolutely need a port portable bus powered SSD. I would hold off on this right now, wait for more to come out in the future, wait for an enclosure because when the actual enclosures come out, you can buy your own SSD much faster than this. Not worry about opening it up, voiding your warranty. That was what I was talking about earlier because you can see this nice little message right here. Pretty much saying, by the way, now that you opened up, you're a so again, I couldn't honestly recommend this for the price. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the honest review. If you're feeling like being awesome, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already. Make sure to check out our previous video, and I will catch you guys later.